This is Brett Waltzmath of Starwatch Media here at the red carpet premiere of The Employer, starring Malcolm McDowell. Pleasure to speak with you. You play the role of Sandra Turner in The Employer. Can you please discuss uh, your character with us and a little bit about the film? Well, um, she is a strategic analyst and uh, she's very, uh, she's, a, she's a smart, uh, well pulled together, um, uh, just A plus B all, you know, every, sort of has everything lined up, plus, um, you know, her eye on, on, on whatever else is going around her, um, kind of person uh, who, who is, is looking to um, take her, her life experience and, um, and her career to a level that uh, she's never pursued before, that she feels um, is really the, the only uh, next uh, available option to her according to her own standards for herself. And so she goes for it. This was Frank Merle's uh, directorial debut in feature films. What was that like for you? How uh, was the experience working with him? Be careful, he's right behind you. Yeah, no, fantastic. Fantastic. Um, he could be a mile away, and I would say fantastic. He, it's it's amazing to to come to work every day with the first time. Uh, well, of course he's done church, but like feature director, and um, just have him set the entire mode for uh, for organization and drive and inspiration and um, excitement uh, about uh, about something that he one has been working on for such a long time and is probably coming to set every day with a bundle of nerves I mean, we feel like we're nervous I can't imagine him um, and yet he still is over and over and over again just expelling all of this energy while sponging up this experience that that is uh, is new to him on a completely different level so he just he was fantastic and so generous just such a generous generous director as an actress is it important to you also that the director also having written the script do you think that also adds to his drive and makes uh, for a, just a much more uh, fluid and relaxed setting on set I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I think it can probably go either way. I personally don't have a preference. While you know, I, I find all all writers extremely impressive. Um, uh, if sometimes uh, there could be someone that comes, if you can be a bit too attached to uh, to, to sort of a, the idea of a result. Um, so that could be maybe detrimental. I mean, I've never experienced that, but um, but you know, also in some cases, there are all of these different intricate just avenues that that I can never think of, or someone else can never think of that uh, because the director did write the script. He can help guide you down, or or sort of lead you and discover it together. Um, so, so, so either way, I think you know if the director hasn't directed the script, then it's nice to sort of be on the same sort of blank slate and kind of dive in together right from the get-go. So I think just sort of it's both can be. I think it's really, to be honest, just uh, the, the the quality of um, of work ethic that the. the Craig me. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is your first feature film in the thriller genre. Is that correct? Oh, yes. You and that, Very first. Yeah. Well, and having worked mainly in the comedic genre with, with your early feature films, what was that transition like for you? Well, um, it was one that I was, uh, I was excited to, to explore, um, but also extremely nervous. Um, luckily, though... Everyone was, I mean, I'm working with an incredible set of actors, and we're working in very, very close quarters the entire, well, for the majority of the film. And um, and uh, they're all very experienced for the most part, and 
and share every bit of information they can. And uh, and while I was I was nervous every single day, I was also exhilarated. And by the end, by the time the film wrapped, I just felt. Um, I felt like uh, I had, uh, had the education of a lifetime. As far as being on set, could you tell much of a difference having worked on a comedic film set and then going to you know a thriller genre film set? Was there a big difference being on set day in day out? That's such a great question. Um, uh, you know, I, I would expect it to be much more, much more, uh, just sort of withheld and um, sort of everyone else is sort of, like everyone's just kind of in between shots doing their own thing to to sort of stay in um, you know it, like focused in character and um, but the amount of play that took place even in between scenes uh, even though we, we would jump right into a scene that was was very dark and um, and like beat to beat to beat to beat. Um, people, you know, everyone, the the crew, the cast, did not just he hesitate to go and um, and just make every moment as productive while while fun and uh, engaging as as possible. So as much as we enjoyed making the film, we really really enjoyed the company of one another. The entire cast and crew. And an interesting aspect of this film specifically is that your character, as well as the other four uh, employees trying to get the job, the, the majority of your scenes, I believe, are shot in a room where you're meant to be trapped. So that did that kind of add to the intensity and kind of the psychological thriller aspect of it for you? Absolutely. It was, uh, first of all, the, uh, the space that we are working in and what they put together was phenomenal. I mean, you would walk into this room and uh, where they set up the cameras, how they arranged everything, you were locked in a vault. <laughs> and it's, uh, but you were on camera, you know, it was, you were being filmed, but privately locked in a vault. <laughs> like, so <laughs> it was, uh, it, it, it was such a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal set. Um, but it, it certainly did add to the, the, uh, the heightened experience that the, the, the thriller aspect and the horror aspect uh, brought to um, the, the film. You start out your professional acting career uh, in theater uh, with the play Mary Rose, playing the main character, Mary Rose. How was that experience for you, working on that play? Oh, it was amazing. I, uh, I worked with an, an incredible director, Tina Landau, and um, and the cast was fantastic. Um, I was definitely the newbie of that show, um, and uh, and I I uh, I had an incredible time. I I was not when I when I auditioned for Mary Rose. I wasn't familiar with the play before, and then once I I read it, I really really related to. Uh, the part, the entire sort of theme of the story, and um, and and the history of it. There's a lot of history behind that that play, uh, and um, it was sort of all all brought to the rehearsal process, and um, and it really really sort of set the stage for set the stage for me really enjoying the state theater. Uh, while um, you know, I always knew that I wanted to get into film as well, explore them all. But uh, but that's something that I know I will always go back to, and I would say largely due to my experience in that play. Was it a difficult transition for you moving from stage to on camera? Was that difficult, or was it relatively fluid for you? Um, it was. It was interesting because it wasn't difficult. It was just a series of sort of having to pinpoint what, because you're, you're overall doing the same thing, like emoting the same, it's, right, it, it's just um, it's just under different circumstances as far as the audience is concerned. So it's just kind of adjusting certain things to personalize uh, the, 
the the story for for the audience properly. Um, and uh, so you do kind of have to draw in uh, here or learn to go in and emote in a different way to get something across on film while it needs to be a bit more in your body and uh, while you're on stage and sort of bringing that, sort of tweaking that here and there. Um, really, really quickly, Paige, I'll ask you uh, about your current upcoming projects. Yeah. Okay. In, um, in, in April, I'm starting a film called Prairie Bones. It's directed by Connie Stevens with Danny Glover and Melissa Leo. Uh, and uh, it's going to be really, I'm really excited about it. It's going to be fantastic. Thank you for the time, Paige. Congratulations on the film and enjoy the oh, premiere. Thank you. Oh, pleasure. Oh, no, it was a pleasure.